Hello, dear traders here on InstaForex TV channel, and I'm Yekaterina Stehina with the latest financial market news. The European single currency weakened slightly against the greenback, but managed to keep its high positions. On Thursday, the euro dollar touched the daily low at 1.1060. However, today it rebounded above 1.11 and corrected to 1.1096 after that. Currency strategists predict that the pair will end this week in the positive territory. Investors are awaiting the US official report on the number of employed people in the non-farm sector. This data will indicate the condition of the labor market and provide more clues on the further stance of the Fed monetary policy. The ADP report revealed on Wednesday disappointed the market. The ADP data showed that the non-farm payrolls grew by 147,000 in October after rising by 2,000 in the previous month. Analysts expected that the number would climb uh, by 165,000. The report hinted that the U.S. Labor Ministry may also publish a weekly report. Currently, the U.S. dollar is uh, pressured uh, by the expectations of market participants. At the same time, the euro is also weak on the back of PMI reports for the Eurozone. The market report revealed that the composite PMI for the Eurozone rose to 53.3 points in October versus the flash estimate of 53.7 points. In September, the index was at 52.6 points. The services PMI also grew less than expected in October. The index inched up to 52.8 points from 52.2 points in September. The Purchasing Managers Index for the Germany services sector moved up to 54.2 points in October from 50.9 points in the previous months. Meanwhile, France, Spain and Italy posted weak results, offsetting the German positive contribution to the total index rate. However, traders uh, keep options open on EURUSD, as they arrive at news about the US labor market condition and results of the US presidential election. Action. You are watching InstaForex TV channel with me, Katerina Stichina. That's all for now. Have a nice weekend.